it's me, and today we're watching some relatable TikToks. I'm just hanging out in bed. Send me a pic. Wow! <laughs> and back to being a triple chin worm. It's crazy how some people could just do that. Go from this. Oh, you want to pick? Hold on. Y'all got some good angles. I feel like the above angle always gonna work. When you're trying to find your phone in the dark, literally everywhere but the phone. Just where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I cannot find it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so annoying to watch. Oh! Just. <gasps> <sighs> End of the video. He couldn't even find his phone. Poor guy. We missing a fifth sense or something? Nah, for real. And then when you got the bed sheets, like you lose it in your blankets. Oh, there was a TikTok for it. You just flop your blankets. And then you hear a... Uh-oh. Phone broke. When you just had a rough day and your clothes get stuck on a door handle. Oh, you want to get up. <sighs> Infuriating. This is so embarrassing for no reason when it happens in public. Like sometimes, whoa, <laughs> y'all saw my pit? My shirt got stuck, I thought somebody yanked me. And of course that activated my fight or flight. I was about to square up and then I realized it's a door handle. One bunk and it's over. When do you think a bug has grabbed you? <laughs> ah! Like I swear something touched me. Something caressed my calf. Oh, for me, most of the time it's a hair. Like after a shower, a single strand of hair will be dangling between my clenched cheeks and somehow just like slip down my leg and I'll just, some touch me. Most of the time it's hair. I've learned from past jump scares. Me enjoying a nice meal alone in the kitchen. Family member walks in. <laughs> Nah, when your dad walks in, it's like, the whole party's over, okay, we gotta go, we gotta leave, we got stuff to do, I'm gonna go water the driveway. I ain't got time for this. This is how dudes expect us to act to their loud cars. <laughs> There's nothing hotter than a souped up Honda Civic. I swear! It's like, it's so annoying. Nobody cares how loud your car is. It's embarrassing. Y'all think six cylinders is gonna make me wanna take my clothes off. Double that and then we're talking. When you try to work out and hear someone coming, why is working out in front of people so embarrassing? Like we really all just live the same life. Like every little and or weird thing I did growing up, according to TikTok, perfectly normal. I think we're just afraid of them asking a bunch of questions like, what are you working out for? You look fine. Who are you trying to impress? Do you like somebody? Do you have a crush? Who is it? Okay, I'm gonna let you do your squad. Interactions we try to avoid. Enjoy your smoothie. Thanks, you too. Wait a second, me too. Gets in the car and enjoys the smoothie with her. I have a good shift. You too. Hold on just a second. Goes into work with her. You know, if only this is what it felt like when you say you too. Enjoy your movie. You too. I feel like shriveling up and dying in a dark corner. But y'all are making this fun. Choose money or happiness. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, same. When you have insomnia or you get older, there is nothing better than a good night of sleep. That's all I want. What's the point of money and happiness if you don't get a good night's rest? <laughs> Me, when that girl laughs a little too hard at your man's joke that wasn't even that funny. doing this in front of his girlfriend or else bye bye me being full after like four bites that's it oh <laughs> human food disposer <laughs> aka boyfriend you know one of the very few things that they're good for you don't finish your food you don't have to throw it away you don't have to waste it when there is a perfectly good human to eat all of your leftovers like a starving child that only eats your leftovers <laughs> or the food that's still on your plate after they finish theirs when you don't want the item anymore. No, not the freezer. Y'all always be putting it in the freezer. I go to Walmart, I see shoes in the freezer. Cause I'm gonna change their mind. Like why you gotta put it in the freezer? Cause nobody checks in there. Things you probably shouldn't do, but people still do anyway. Unless an employee is watching you, then you gotta make sure to put it back exactly where you found it. Mom, I think I just broke my wrist. Mom, you know why? It's because you always on that damn phone. <laughs> 
no matter what hurts. Head hurt, my nostrils are sore, I got itchy athlete's foot, skin of my weenus is peeling off, cause you always on that damn phone. Ah yes, all of the world's problems, every sickness and disease would be cured when y'all get off your phone. Parent logic. When you're tall AF and you're going out with your short friend. Hey, come on, come up here, I got you. Me hanging out with digital next. You know this whole time I could have been carried? Clearly I am not taking advantage of my tall friends. Me, every time I stay in a hotel. Oh, uh, no, 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 I <laughs> He beat up the bed! Okay, I hate how they tuck it in. Why do they tuck in the feet part? I know it's neat. I untuck it every single time before I go to bed. I can't stand having my toes trapped. What if I got sweaty? What if I get hot in the middle of the night? What if they want to come out to play with the monsters under my bed? Nobody makes their bed like that at home. Free them! Things I thought were expensive as a kid and was shocked to find out they're pretty cheap. This. I just googled it because in his video he said about colored pencils. So I was like, I wonder Those how much like this is with the built in At least $12. And all different colors. It's $3. No way. Three whole dollars for the massive 64 pack of crayons. Every color imaginable. With a built in sharpener, and you're telling me it was only $3? Why only the rich kids had that? I can't believe it was so cheap. But then come to think of it, wasn't like the regular 12 pack of crayons like 20 cents? When I went to school, they were. It was a long time ago. There is no way those used to be $3 when I went to school. So you're telling me my parents wouldn't pay $3 to enrich my creativity? I guess not. People with glasses trying to eat. <laughs> uh, you don't make me snort the snot in my nose. I take off my glasses to eat, especially when it's hot food. It like literally fogs up your glasses. Or when you're wearing a mask and you literally breathe, it fogs up your glasses. <laughs> it fogged up so quick. Those noodles must be hot. I'm pretty sure you can get like anti-fog glasses now. I haven't, but I'm like 90% sure it's a thing. Make when dad quick. sees his buddy out in public. John? Hey, hey, John! John! How's it going, man? <laughs> John, how's it going? New van, I like it. Nice, nice. Hi, the kids. Ah, awesome. Oh, mine? Yeah, you know, they can be a pain in the butt sometimes. The extra long, uh, 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 chuckle. <laughs> I swear, dad's gotta be the fakest people out there. They could be yelling at you and as soon as like somebody walks by, hello, I'm such a nice guy. Mom just left work, I forgot to take the chicken out the freezer. Oh no, you cannot put it in the microwave. Mother reminded you several hours ago to take the chicken out of the freezer. What do you mean you didn't take the chicken out? The best you could do while still in the package, just run it under some water and hope for the best. When I mean, you're just driving, enjoying the drive. Then zone out and forget you're driving. Oh, you think about the last few traffic lights you ran. Like, were they green? I hope they were green. Because I wasn't paying attention. I was just going and hoping. Consider this a warning. You didn't get arrested, so congratulations. I'm kind of depressed. Me having a bad day, but at least like I have so my leftovers. I'm not. Oh my so god. What I this is tear inducing. When I was living with my parents and I came home from school one day, I had such a horrible day, but I was like, at least I got that spaghetti in the fridge. I came home, wasn't there. Who ate it? Nobody said nothing. And to this day, I still don't know who ate my spaghetti. You will burn for your sins. Mom, you have your own money now. You can buy your own things. Me, buy something. Why are you wasting your money? But, but, but you just said, who you think you are? My financial advisor? Cause you're absolutely right. <laughs> My mom eating food that isn't gluten free around me. Mm. How is it? Oh, Bad. it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I just hate it. Seen something so relatable. I'm sending this to my mom right now. No matter how good something is, it could be delicious. And then I just want an honest opinion of what the normal food tastes like because I can't have gluten. And she'll always be like, no, it's not that good. It's horrible, terrible. The gluten free bread, so much better. Why are you go lie to me like that? She's watching my video right now, actually. I just want to know the truth about what I'm missing out on. Is the gluten free pasta I've been eating just not good enough? Me, wondering why people don't approach me in person. Because I'm actually a very friendly and energetic person. Me in person. I feel like this is what I look like. Truth is, I save all my energy for my videos. In real life, I'm not energetic or approachable. And if you see me, I'll probably be looking at you like this. Ignore my eyes watering. I'm not sad, the light in front of me is just bright. Me, finna put it on Netflix. Ah, here we go again. 
Why are you sound so loud? Is it gonna blow up? I'm scared. <laughs> PlayStation sound like it's gonna fly away. Don't even get me started about PCs. Why the fan gotta be so loud? Like it's cooling down an entire house. I mean, it kinda is. <laughs> Sometimes I have to grab my mom's phone and just, oh, just close everything. Because I don't think they know about this. They got everything open at all times. Just so satisfying. Sometimes I remember I got to do this to my own phone. Man, having immigrant parents is really hilarious because no matter what they say, they're always going to sound aggressive to white people. You go and invite a friend over and your mom busts in your room like, Daniel, na provio sam pasulia. O que si diedes? Yeah, we'll come down in a second. Is everything okay? She sounded really mad. Maybe I should come back another day or something. What? No, she asked if we're hungry. Let's go eat. Some languages are just very aggressive, especially German. What it sounds like when you speak in German versus what the words actually mean. <laughs> Feeling satisfied after a meal. Oh wait, who was that? Some sweet. No matter how full I am, literally gonna bust. That piece of chocolate in the fridge? After every meal, I need something sweet. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and comment below which one is the most relatable. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.